Next one here. Mixture of 27 grams ethanoic acid. 20.7 grams of ethanol was allowed to come to equilibrium at a certain temperature. Always says temperature because remember KC's temperature dependent. Um, it was found by experiment that 9 grams of ethanoic acid was present in the equilibrium mixture. So what I'll tell you first to do, write out the equation. So there, CH3, COH, me acid, and me alcohol. And you should know this even from chemistry, sorry, me reversible reaction arrow, acid and alcohol. What's me two products there? Acid and alcohol gives me my ester and water. Esterification. A condensation reaction. CH3, COO, C2H5 plus H2O. Now, same layout. Moles initially. Change. Moles at equilibrium. And you get your marks for your layout as well. And equilibrium. Concentration. And remember your equilibrium concentration is in moles per liter so your acid and your alcohol giving you your ester and water now we'll fill in start to like this wee table format now to be honest convert it so fire on each of these and they'll give you enough information to work out something Anyway, so a mixture of 27 grams of ethanoic acid. That's me, me reacting to how much I have at the start. So to go back to moles, divide by the relative molecular mass. Now if you work out the relative molecular mass of ethanoic acid, you'll get 60. That shouldn't be a bother to you now. 27, divide that by 60, gives you 9 over 20, or 0 0.45 moles. And 20.7 grams of ethanol. Now ethanol, I don't remember off by heart. 2 by 12 is 24. So I'll do it up here for you. 6 by 1 is 6. And 1 by 16 is 16. 30, it's 46. So 20.7. Back to moles, you divide. That by 46. And you get 0 0.45. Same number of moles, same ratio. Uh, none, none are limited or in excess. How much product you have? Zero and zero at the start. Now to come to equilibrium at a certain temperature. It was found by experiment that nine grams of ethanoic acid was present. There's my ethanoic acid. Moles at equilibrium. Nine over 60. We'll see it's less because your reactants have been converted into your products. So it's a third of that. So it should give me 0.15. 90 divided by 60. 0 0.15 moles. Now that's enough information to work out KC. Because... From this here, I can work out the change. What happened to my concentration with reactants? Went down, the difference in those is down 0 0.3. Your reactants are both gonna decrease. And as it's in the ratio one to one to one to one, my products are gonna increase by plus 0 0.3. So 0.45 by that is 0 0.15, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. And now have they given me a size of a container? No, they haven't. So nothing to worry about. Just go straight down, 0 0.15, 0 0.15, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. Now, to get our general KC, it's your products over your reactants. So there are my product, my ester, my CH3, COO, C2H5, times my H2O. In square brackets means moles per litre. And my CH3, COOH, and my C2H5OH. Now, throw in these figures in moles per litre that I have down here. There's my two products, my 0 0.3 times my 0 0.3, all over 0 0.15 times 0 0.15. Bung that into your calculator then. 0.3 by 0.3 over 0.15 by 0.15, we get a value of 4. Equilibrium lies on the right hand side. We're forming more products than the reactants. Do another one. Last example here, number six, not much space. Goodness gracious. So here I've got my equation. Me CH3, COH, same equation as before. Me acid and me alcohol, giving me me ester. Me CH3, COO, C2H5, and me water, me H2O. 
There's my temperature, because KC is temperature dependent. Put in your your heads. I mean, was initially change. Was at equilibrium. An equilibrium concentration in moles per liter. As I say, I haven't much room in this, but sure, we'll work it out. Draw your regrid. As I say, you want to try this, pause it for your sale, go through it. I could easy, easily make a mistake in my sale, hopefully not. But uh, pause it, try it your sale, and see how you get on. You learn far more from doing that, to be honest. What's it equilibrium? An equilibrium concentration. So the initial amounts of ethanol were 138 grams. We worked out the mass there in the previous one, which is 46 relative molecular mass. So 138 divided by 46, we get three moles. Ethanoic acid, 180 divided that by 60, which is its relative molecular mass. We get three, and our product is zero and zero. It's found that 46 grams of ethanol remained. So 46 over 46 gives me one. That's enough to work it out. Now we start figuring in, uh, filling it in, sorry. What's happened to my concentration of my reactants? It went down two. Here's my ratio one to one, that is. So these went up two. Remember, just in case there was a two there, it would go up four. So how much have we got here? We've got one, zero plus two is two, zero plus two is two. Have they given me the size of the container? No, so just fill these down, one, one, two, two. That's actually gonna give me the same result. And to work out KC, it's my products over my reactants. I'll just squeeze it in, CH3, COO, C2H5, times H2O. What have we got there? Methyl, ethanoate, draw it out for yourself. Your carbonyl group and your oxygen going down. He's made a mistake in that in the exams, remember. CH3, COOH, <coughs> C2H5, OH. Throw in your figures now. 2, 2 over your 1 times 1 in moles per litre. And you get a value of 4. Equilibrium. Uh, constant is 4. Right. I'll give you questions to try now for yourselves. See how you get on.